Let's come back home now. And 20 orphaned rhinos in Limpopo are now radioactive. This is part of a groundbreaking new initiative using nuclear technology to protect the critically endangered animals from poachers. Scientists from Witz University who spearheaded the project say they found a method to keep rhinos safe. News from Africa's Karinda Jagmohan tells us more. In the 19th century, more than one million rhinos roamed the earth. Today, South Africa is home to the majority population, a dwindling number of 15,000. Nothing worked. They just keep slaughtering our rhinos. I mean, we've lost close to 80% of our rhino population in South Africa. This is because poachers and their buyers are after the rhino's horn, which is made of keratin, a basic protein found in one's nails. There's no value, except for criminals. The reason for that is because rhino horns are the most valuable false commodity on the black market. It has more black market value than diamonds, platinum, cocaine, gold. There is no medicinal value for them. Now it's time for the rhino to endanger poachers. This Rhizotil project is a reasonably non-invasive um, kind of intervention. Even though it is radioactive materials that are injected in the horn, it does render the horn uh, essentially useless for uh, human consumption. Whatever that consumption is, who knows, it's just a total hoax, isn't it? But the point is that anybody who's going to consume rhino horn is going to consume a poisonous horn that's going to, uh, going to be very dangerous for them. But also importantly, it's going to be detectable by systems that are already in place in, in, at airports because airports all around the world have been geared up for um, kind of detecting uh, the proliferation of nuclear material. After a low sedation dose, a pinhole is drilled into the rhino's horn for the radioactive microchips to be inserted, making it easily detectable at international borders. Six-year-old Ray's horn has just been injected with the radioisotope. It's a small amount of radioactivity that won't hurt Ray, but will rather instill fear into the minds of poachers. We want to devalue the, the, the rhino horn in the eyes of the end users because um, we want to make sure you know, people are scared of anything that's radioactive. The team spent three years developing the safe dosage. It's more cost effective than dehorning the rhino, which disrupts its behavior in the wild. Rhinos have kept their horns for millions of years because they need them. They need them to defend themselves, they need them to create their territorial landscape for themselves and, as mentioned, rhinos are geoformers. They help shape the landscape and their horn is a part of that. By taking the horn away, it is a life-saving endeavour that some people have chosen to do, but we are hoping that with this nuclear technology we will be able to help the rhino keep their horn. The 20 rhinos, based at a secret rhino orphanage in Limpopo, will be monitored for six months before the project is further rolled out. The launch was done publicly to share this warning to poachers. Don't mess with our rhinos, really. If you do, um, you will glow in the dark, really. That's what it demands to. Leave them alone. Leave them here for our grandchildren. You know, you don't want to be the people who say, Oops, it was on our generation that we let these things go extinct. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Karenda Jagmohan in Limpopo. <laughs> Don't run. Don't run. She's up. She's up. <laughs>